guys, and today we will be going over the stride and bound. That is just several jumps in a row with one foot on the obstacle after another. So I would have one here, and then I would have one here, and then I would jump and have another one on the other one. This always gets a running start. Doesn't split step is preferred or uh, better, so you can get that one foot off and kick the come up because you're not going to get anywhere with pouncing or whatever you want to call it. So the stride and bound is pretty simple. It's just running and jumping. But most people are scared or like if they don't want to like slip and hit and then clip their shin. Because I've done that multiple times. But the stride and bound, it's just running and jumping. I'll show you it quick. That right there is what many people are afraid of, but see how I was able to recover before busting my stuff. <laughs> but that's what we're going to do today, is we're going to learn how to do the stride and bound without that happening. Um, so these aren't that stable, but... I've trained on these a bunch, so I know what to do, and they're just little tree stumps. That's it. Normally, you would want to try this with with little pads in a, in a room or like logs, not logs, because those will roll. But anything that's stable and you can put spaced out pretty well, blocks of concrete, smaller ones, just so you don't get. Just so you don't have to waste all of that momentum going up onto it. Like if it's all the way up, like right here. So you don't have to get all the way up and then all of your speed is gone for going all the way that way. So, the first thing you want to do is just get on Get on it. Have one, just do one foot. Go down. And then... And then land with the other foot. So I'm on my right foot. Then I will jump over there and land on my left. Easy. Do that a few more times so you're comfortable with going to one foot, from one foot to another. And then once you do that, get a running start. And then do that. And then land on one foot, on the other foot. Easy. Easy. So that's only one. You're going from one to the other. It's just a really good precision. Um, but the stride is more, like one, one, two, three, four, five, eight, depending on how long you can go. So, once you got the running down and you're able to go from one to another, then try doing, try doing two and like, I swing my arms just to get more momentum and stay center on the on my path of where I'm going and it just gives me more momentum as I'm jumping through the air just so I have just enough to get in the middle 
Oh, my next thing, obstacle, the jigger jig thing, and then I'm able to pop and get up to go to my next one. So let's do two. That was the stride. That was a beautiful stride. Probably not. But I landed two feet just so I could have enough in, enough cushion because that's all I, that's where I wanted to get. So when you finish, when you get to the last one of wherever you're going, like if there's only so many blocks or so many things, land two feet. Sometimes you won't, sometimes you'll need, you'll have too much momentum and you'll go over. When you do that, just make sure you don't clip your butt. Dash if you can. If it's high enough. If it's not, if it's not that high, then you should be able to just clear it. Depending on how far they're spread out. And if <coughs> if you're too little, then just do a crane, which is one foot, just one foot on, and that'll be able to stop you from clipping in and messing up your shin, your leg, your knee from here down. Um, but always land on the balls of your feet when you're coming in. You don't want to land like this. Because depending on how hard you're coming in, that'll just jack up your whole entire body. So, once you are comfortable with that little bit of stride, then go bigger. Go farther. Always, always, always get a running start before a stride and judge how far you want to go before you actually get into it. Because once you go and you have that, depending on fa how fast you're going, you might not be able to stop unless you go really high and then just come down if you don't want to. But normally the stride is very easy, it's really fun, there's so many, you can do stride to precision, stride to dash, stride to con, a lot, a lot, a lot. So let's show you a big stride. See, when I hit that one, I had too much. So I wasn't able to stick it. But I just was able to hop down from it and I was safe. Safe. Let me show you again. swinging my arms to keep myself in line with my pack. Oh, I'm really tired. I've been training a lot already. But the stride and bound, super easy, really fun. Uh, I really hope this helped. If I did forget anything, it will be in the description below. <sighs> It will be in the <laughs> description below. Uh, if you're new, please sub tutorials and cool vids every Friday. If you enjoyed or this helped, leave a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.